Welcome again, guys, to another one of my mathematics tutorials. In this session, we will be looking at the distributive law to remove brackets. The distributive law states that if you have A multiplied by B plus C, that is actually equal to AB plus AC. Now, if you had seen the expression on this side here, what you would have done, according to bod mass, is to work out that brackets first. So you would actually calculate B plus C and then multiply it by A. What the distributive law is telling you to do is multiply A by B and then A by C and add it. That is what this side here is saying. A by B plus A by C. So I'm going to draw arrows to indicate how I'm going to go about multiplying. A by B and then A by C and then we add it. Let's take a look at a question. So I have here 2x multiplied by y plus 3. So our distributive law states that we multiply this 2x by y and we also multiply it by 3 and then we add it. So I'm going to get 2x multiplied by y gives me 2xy and 2x multiplied by 3 gives me 6x. Now let us look at another example. Let's say 5 multiplied by p plus 2q. So our distributive law says that we must multiply that 5 by p, 5 by 2q, and then because our sign there is add, we add them. So I'm going to get 5 by p gives me 5p, and 5 by 2q gives me 10q. What about if we had an operation of subtraction in the brackets? Like, let us say this example here. What we will do, we will follow our same process, multiply A by B, which is the same as B by A, and I multiply B by C, and then I'm just going to take them away. So I'm going to get BA, take away BC. Now, usually our letters are organized in alphabetical order when we are stating solutions. So we should write A, B take away B, C. Now, what if we had a scenario like this? Negative P plus Q. It is understood that this negative sign here represents negative 1. So, what we must do is take that negative 1 and multiply it by P and then by Q. So we are going to get negative 1 by p is negative 1p and negative 1 by positive q is going to give me negative 1q. And that is the same as writing negative p take away q. Let's have a look at another question. Let's say we have this expression here. It's negative 4b multiplied by negative 4c plus 2d. I follow my same processes. I take this and I multiply it by this and then by this. So I'm going to get negative 4b by negative 4c. Negative by a negative is a positive. 4 by 4 is 16 and b by c is bc. A negative by a positive is going to give me a negative. 4 by 2 is going to give me 8. And B by D is going to give me B, D. Simple. Let's look at another. Let's say we have this here. We follow our same process. We take this term and we multiply it by this term first and then by that term there. So it becomes negative 2x squared by 3xy. Negative 2 by positive 3 gives me negative 6. x squared by xy 
gives me x cube y. Remember, x squared multiplied by x here, x is x to the power 1. So x squared multiplied by x is going to give me x cubed. And I put back that y. Negative 2x squared multiplied by negative 2x cubed is going to give me positive because negative by negative is positive. And 2 by 2 is 4. x squared by x cubed is x to the power 5. Remember, we have to add our indices when we are multiplying. So that becomes 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, let's try some questions on your own. Now, try to work these on your own. What you can do is pause the video at this point, work them out, and then resume the video when you have your solutions. So here are your solutions. Negative 1 multiplied by C is negative C. Negative 1 by negative D is positive 1D. C by D is CD. C by negative B, negative CB. Remember, we are to write our variables in alphabetical order. So I rewrote this as BC. Next, 3P by 2ap squared gives me 3 by 2, 6. p by ap squared gives me ap cubed. Remember, your index for p is understood to be 1. So p to the power 1 by p to the power 2 gives me p to the power 3. 3p by 2pq squared gives me 3 by 2 is 6, and p by p, p squared, q squared. Next, negative 10xy multiplied by negative 2x squared. Negative by negative gives me positive, 10 by 2 gives me 20, and xy by x squared gives me x cube y. Negative by negative, positive, 10 by 3, 30, xy by x cube y squared z gives me x to the power 4, because it is understood that my power there is 1, so x to the power 1 by x to the power 3 gives me x to the power 4, and y by y squared gives me y to the power 3, and I put back my z. So I hope you got it correct. If this video was beneficial in some way, don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more of my videos.